Bees are on the move this time of year, and with May right around the corner, the season of bee swarms here in the desert is close by. Now on your sides, Cody Sheever spoke with experts on what you should do if swarms of bees are on your property. After a tremendous amount of rainfall this past winter, southern Arizona is seeing a swarm of bees. With the amount of flowering going on, truly Nolan pest expert Brian Harper says the bees are competing for food sources and have been acting hyperactive. If a hive is found near your home, Harper recommends you call professionals to handle the disposal of the insects. And see what equipment may be necessary in order to properly remove the hive. Hives that are moving into people's structures and homes and environment directly around their homes um, are a danger to, to, to all of us. To avoid being stung, experts recommend to run, not walk, when you hear buzzing, and to refrain from swatting at the pesky insects. However, if you are stung multiple times or are allergic to bees, Rural Metro Battalion Fire Chief John Waka says it's crucial to seek medical attention immediately. You should have an epinephrine pin with you at all times, and an anaphylactic reaction is, of course, a fatal reaction. What happens is your throat starts to swell up, you get hives all over you, but eventually what's going to happen is you'll eventually stop breathing. But what if your furry four-legged friend finds the insect on his own? Tucson vets say if your dog is stung or eats a bee, you should call your primary care veterinarian. A Benadryl or diphenylhydramine, the most common antihistamine, can be used for swelling and itch but the dose depends a little bit on the dog. So it's best to consult your own veterinarian. Cody Sheever, Kaga 9, on your side.